afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Guys, I've got one today that I don't think I've ever filmed before. And I've done plenty of Greyhawks and Redhawks and all that. But, guys, I don't think I've ever filmed a triple slide Class C before. I may be wrong, but, guys, I've got one today. This is a really cool motor home. It's pretty much got every option, amenity that a Class C could ever want or need. And this is a 2016 Jayco Greyhawk. It's the model 29ME. One, two, three slide outs on a Class C. 32 feet, five inches, so it's not too awfully big for a Class C. It's got 32,000 miles on it. It has a Onan 4KW generator running right now, 85 hours. It's got leveling jacks. 1000 watt inverter it's loaded guys i mean this thing is probably one of the most loaded out and nicest class c's that i've ever filmed Thirty-two thousand miles leather seats look great uh let's look around it got the hd max of course um, like all the gray hawks do you got your one slide on this side with the power awning does have the tankless hot water heater, so you push a button, you got instant tankless water. You got instant hot water and pretty much unlimited. Well, until you either your gray tank fills or your fresh water supply runs out. Ford, it built on a 4D 450 chassis, got 305 horsepower Triton V10, 7,500 pound towing capacity on the hitch. Now, would I tow that much weight behind it? Probably not, but I'd probably cap it off at like 5,500, maybe six. But this thing on spec say 7,500 pounds. I'll let you be the judge of that. They just don't come any nicer than this guy. Of course, it's got the Jayco J-Ride Plus. Big seller for Jayco is their ride and drive. You know, where a, uh, a Ford 450's got the typical dual uh, piston shocks. This one's got the Bilstein heavy duty shocks that are supposed to be 30% better than the factory ones. It also has a rubberized body mounts, which act like a shock absorber between the chassis and the body, so it gives you a better ride. You've also got a super heavy duty sway controller built in from the factory and um, computerized drive shaft. I'll tell you something, add all that together, you get an incredible ride and drive out of this, especially compared to your typical Class C motorhome. And uh, of course, this ton and a half 450 chassis, plenty of power and, and heavy dutiness there. There's your rear slide, slide out number two, and back looks good. I don't see any beat up spots on it, dents, dings, anything like that. And then slide out number three on the driver's side. Notice the frameless windows. Guys, this thing back in 16 was 100 and Thirteen or fourteen thousand dollars MSRP. The new ones are about twenty-five grand higher. It has a one-piece fiberglass roof. I mean, just super clean all the way around. You can look in these bays, uh, clean. There's your wet bay, your wet hookups. It doesn't have a ton of outside storage because of all these extra slide outs, but it's probably got all you need. Just throw some chairs in and a grill. Generator just fires right up, runs great. Tires look great, doesn't need tires. Look at the overlapping cap on the cab over. This eliminates straight edges where most leak problems occur. Hood looks great, interior looks great. Got the good looking chrome front end. I, I love that on the Fords. And let's talk about value. Look at that price guys for this coach. NADA on this thing is almost $20,000 higher, average retail. And guys, I'm not adding for the jacks. I'm not adding for any options at all. I'm just adjusting for the mileage. I'm actually five grand under low retail with no added options. And you know, everybody else likes to add air conditioners and awnings and, and slide outs and, and uh, furnaces and water heaters and all that junk their NADA dies. I don't do that. All that stuff, standard equipment. You cannot buy. You could not buy this motorhome at 16 without that equipment on it. So the only thing you can really add for maybe the jacks, the bigger inverter, 
and the power on it or the TVs and that's really about it. Hang on tight, let's flash that up there. So you can see guys, best deal in the country right here on a 1629 ME Jayco Greyhawk with good miles, 32,000 miles. The only thing I see bad about it, and it's not beat up like somebody's broke into it, but a little spray paint will probably fix that right up. I don't know what in the world's happened there. Steps work great. Let's look inside. Of course, this is your jack controls. Uh, you've got inside, outside speakers that you can individually control. Solid surface countertops, no smoke, no pet odors. Man, what a beautiful rig. Furniture looks great. Only bad spot in the furniture, and it's not flaking. I don't know how in the world this happened unless somebody had a cell phone in their pocket, maybe one of them Samsungs that everybody was blowing up when they were charging. It just got too hot. That's the only bad part in any of these seats is right there. I, I don't know what that is, what caused that. Maybe y'all have an idea. 32,087.9 miles, no check engine lights. It does have the three camera system, so you got a backup camera, you have your side cameras, and of course you have your navigation touchscreen Bluetooth stereo. You can hook your phone up with hands-free calling and a directional microphone. Heated power mirrors, both sides. Dash air will run you out of here. Um, passenger seat looks great. Dash looks great. You've got the cab over entertainment center. Big TV with a single bunk that folds out and a privacy curtain so you can sleep one person up there. Step back from that, you have a nice table booth that makes a bed. And across from that, a sleeper sofa. So right here is two, four, five, and two in the back. So it is a seven sleeper. Seven foot tall ceilings, interior ceiling height, 15,000 BTU ducted roof air. You do have an eight cubic foot nor cold RV refrigerator freezer that's already getting cold. It doesn't look like it's ever had anything put in it. Um, beautiful countertops in here. Now look at this backsplash. Isn't that kind of cool? Definitely Jayco. And that is actually ceramic. The three burner stove top. We'll see if it's been cooked in. Nope, don't look like it. Over the range microwave. You have an oven. Again, just beautiful solid surface countertops. Look almost like marble. And a Corian sink instead of the stainless steel. So definitely they didn't uh, they didn't scrimp any building this cabinets hardwood cabinets um, I guess you put that to hang your coat in and stuff like that hopefully you don't have to worry about that right now uh, 85.1 hours on the 4k w onan inverters working slide out controls and your monitor and water pump switch this is your water heater control. It is propane or electric. And like I said, you literally turn it on, take your clothes off, jump in the shower, you got hot water. Uh, this unit also has the optional heat pump as well. So you've got electric heat, propane heat, and uh, dash heat. So plenty of ways to heat it, plenty of ways to cool it. Some nice cabinets. These are actually Amish built cabinets. You know, most of Jayco's factory workforce are either Amish or Mennonite. So majority, you know, just about all their cabinets are actually hand built in house by the Amish or Mennonites. So good old world craftsmanship there. Now this is your rear queen bed and this will actually, you can actually take a nap in here when the slide out's in, when you're going down the road, it's just gonna be pushed up against the wall a little bit, but you will lose access to a couple of drawers right there, but you'll still be able to sleep. 
uh, with that bed in. And that's, you know, most of the class, smaller class C's with that rear slide, you can't. You, the mattress folds up in half. This one, you can. You've got a television up in the corner. Large closet in here in the hallway. Drawers, LED lights. Does have fantastic vent fans everywhere. You got one right here in the bedroom. That's actually a good idea because I like air circulating at night. So that would be actually a cool idea, no pun intended, uh, to keep you comfortable at night. Got a fully enclosed side bathroom. And so anybody in the bathroom is not gonna be blocking access to the rest of the RV. And everything looks good in here. Double medicine cabinet. Um, shower. Glass door, skylight looks good. Got a little linen closet over there in the corner. RV toilet. You know, I'm looking at things like there's no yellowing stains in the shower, which means that this thing hasn't spent a lot of time outside uncovered because the UV rays coming to the skylight will actually bleach these showers a bright yellow. I don't see any peeling on the wallpaper border which tells me this thing hasn't been cooped up in hot, humid weather. Of course, you know, it's only got 32,000 miles and um, and 85 hours on the generator. So obviously this thing's been used some, but hasn't been overused or underused. I think that's right about where you want to be for a six-year-old RV. What a price, guys. 67.9. Of course, keep in mind, at that price, lowest in the country, um, especially with 32,000 miles on it, we only guarantee the major, the most major systems, which are the steps, the running and driving. We guarantee the slide outs, all three to work like they're supposed to, guarantee the roof air to work, refrigerator and freezer to work. Everything else is sold as is. You can come inspect it yourself. Uh, if you want to, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you're more than welcome to hire a third party RV inspector. That's the only things that we can fix if they don't work are those systems I just mentioned. If, if you know, where everything else is sold as is, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. For 20 grand under book, you can't complain. Because this is something you can literally use for a year and probably sell and get all your money back and or may even make money on it. Depends on what the market does in the next 12 months. I know Class C's have been extremely hard to find and I don't look for this one to be around very long 67 9 100 percent haggle free firm I challenge you to find another one with leveling jacks with all the equipment this thing has with around 30,000 miles for that price anywhere else and keep in mind guys we're not like these other dealers we charge no fees you don't find out till it's too late that like you do at a lot of other dealerships that they charge thousands of dollars in dock fees, prep fees, uh, all this other junk, guys. Processing fees, happy camper fees, and more. All that's 100% dealer profit, guys. The only thing we charge is applicable sales tax. Georgia residents, you do have to pay a $100 highway impact fee and a $40 to $50 tag and title fee. That's Georgia residents only. Trying to hurry it up, guys. I'm down to 6% battery on my camera. But... We also have delivery available $1.50 a mile one way. That's us paying all expenses, which includes driver's pay, includes fuel and hotel room if necessary. And we only charge for one way. We don't charge for the return trip. So if you live 500 miles away, it's $750. We'll deliver it right to wherever you want us to put it. As long as we don't have to go up a creek bed through a cow pasture and and uh and a dry creek bed and all that to put it where you want it and guys you know we can't unfortunately we can't take it off the gravel or the pavement but um we'll get you if it's a bad location we'll get as close as we can and drop it there that's just protect well i guess my battery died on me a little prematurely so i did a battery swap so sorry about that but what i'm getting at is you know 99.9 .9 percent of the time we can get the rv where the customer wants it but there is that small chance that we can't so please don't get mad my drivers have full discretionary discretion over where they're going to put it because you know we're not going to do anything to damage property or somebody's vehicle or our own vehicle or get stuck so uh, please keep that in mind guys 
Uh, but anyway, man, this is a pretty Jayco, isn't it? Uh, this unit again, 67.9, hackle free firm. You're not going to find one any less. I mean, go ahead and look. This one's probably not going to be on the market very long. It's a lot of, lot of Class C in a 16 model for the money. Three slides, all the right equipment, fiberglass roof, seven foot tall ceilings, inverter, big generator under 100 hours. I mean, sleeps more than you want to carry with you in a vehicle this size, sleep seven with plenty of room for, I mean, you probably put a small pallet or, or air mattress in the floor if you need to sleep more. This unit, uh, again, 67.9, will trade. Financing available with approved credit and down payment if you want the latest information about that. I, they don't keep me in the loop on that stuff anymore, so uh, at least just every once in a while. But I always tell people, if you want to know the latest interest rates, terms, down payment amount and all that stuff it that's a question for our salespeople. 706-965-7929 check with your bank or credit union too and see what they can do i mean that way you have a basis of comparison i mean don't spend too much time doing that or you'll lose it but um uh you know deals like this don't pop up every day 20 grand under book with and it's not like it's 20 grand under book with a hundred thousand miles 20 grand under book with 32,000 miles and 85, 86 hours on the generator with jacks and all the other equipment in here that you're probably, it's not exactly standard. That's a deal, guys. Don't let it get away. Um, perfect size, too, for older parks, stuff like that, especially with all these slides because you're 32 feet when you're driving it, but you're actually two or three feet longer with that rear slide out. So you're going to be getting a little bit longer motor home than you're driving. So that, that's a pretty cool concept when you think about it. And um, it's a Jayco Greyhawk, top of the line. Uh, especially in this modern era of Class C's, these are definitely one of the most popular, well, better built ones out there. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Smash me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Comment, share on social media. Hit that subscribe button, guys, so you get first notification for deals like this. You know, if you're just curious about RVs, watch my videos. I'll save you some money, especially buying from the big guys, the big corporate dealers, you know, that charge the fees, that mark the interest rates up on financing. You know, I, my grandpa always had a saying that you save your, you make your dollar in business with 10 dimes instead of four quarters. Don't be a quarter, be a dime. And I, if you listen to my channel, subscribe to it, you'll learn a lot of stuff from me working at those dealerships, working here in 25 years of doing every position in an RV dealership you can think of. I've got inside information. I share that information. And that's what I love about here. Everything's so open and transparent. This is the price. That's what it costs. Doesn't matter if you travel 20 miles, 2 miles, or 2,000 miles. 67.9 plus tax is the price. Um, we have no fees besides what the state makes us charge, that $100 highway impact fee and a $40 to $50 tag and title fee to Georgia residents only. We guarantee the following systems. Um, side outs, generator, refrigerator, freezer, air conditioner, steps, and, you know, of course, the running and driving. Everything else, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. If you want to pay full retail book for it, we'll give you a full retail inspection which is almost $20,000 more than I'm asking for it. So, you know, I tell people, come look at it yourself. Be your own judge. If you're worried that you can't do that, even though it's pretty simple, hire a third-party inspection service. You're buying it for twenty grand under book. Even if you've got to do a couple of repairs to it, you're still, still 15 16 17 grand 18 grand less than or 19 less than buying one already ready to go there's literally an rv trader the other dealers are asking a hundred grand for this exact same year make model motorhome a hundred thousand dollars to my 67 9 which one sounds better i mean i'm beating for sale by owner prices 